If this didn't actually happen, I would probably still be in China cleaning this guy's like tattoo machine. I would never make it out alive, but yeah. I got my tattoo here when I was 17 and it was on Impulse. I followed my friend to a tattoo shop and I was like, okay, might as well. I think I was 19, 20 when I got my first tattoo. That was when I was 24, first year into uh, when I started working. I waited for a couple years because my mom wasn't fully supportive of my idea. Absolutely nothing. I got, I got my first tattoo at home on a Sunday night. My brother took out an old tattoo machine and my family gathered around as we tattooed my butt. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Doesn't represent anything at all. <laughs> Maybe just a slippery slope down the tattoo, like, you know, me starting to get tattoos, that's about it. So my first tattoo is um, two pairs of stars. Uh, stars in Chinese means, uh, uh, it, it, it says sing, uh, which also uh, means like your heart. Uh, so it sounds the same. And then I got it, uh, it represents my family. So the two stars on my left wrist represent my parents, my dad and my mom. And then on the right side, uh, right wrist is actually myself and my grandma. I'm very, very close to my grandma. So that's my family, my closest member. The tattoo that I got said breathe. Uh, because, yeah, at a period of time, like, uh, I, I was young and I wanted to kind of remind myself, like, during tough times, just remember to breathe. So that's why I got it. So I got, like, my ex-girlfriend's initial tattooed on my leg. No regrets after that. <laughs> I kind of wish that maybe the brief tattoo, I got it somewhere else. So I d d wouldn't have to spend, like, $800 to remove it. I feel like this question is the ones that I talk most about. Um, it's actually my Nawil. Uh, I got this tattoo done in Singapore with a Singapore artist. So in case my artist saw it, it has nothing to do with your design. It's just a bit cartoonish for myself, for myself. When I was laying down on the, the bed, he was doing the uh, freehand high riding, freehand sketching on my hand, on my arm. I was already regretting the idea of taking that design. Uh, but I still decided to go with it. Uh, but it also became like an icon, so my people recognize me from my photo and stuff, like from this novel tattoo. So it's an icon of me now. I think it would be my first big tattoo after the small one I got on my wrist, uh, which is my geisha tattoo on my thigh. I got it in uh, Shanghai with one of my best friends and yeah, that was a really like, fun and memorable, memorable trip as well. So I really, yeah, this tattoo has kind of like a soft spot in my heart, I guess. I think my most memorable tattoo experience is my tattoo I got in China because um, it's funny because when I got my tattoo, I didn't actually have money to pay for my tattoo. And the guy was just like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. We get it done first, then we'll talk about the money later. I'm like, dude, like I can't, so I couldn't draw money and I couldn't find like enough money to pay. So I was calling my friends, my family, and everybody was just like trying to panic to find the money. It was a three hour session and throughout the whole three hours, it wasn't pain, it wasn't tightness, it was just me on my phone trying to find a way to get money into my, my wallet so that I could pay this guy. And eventually what happened was I had to contact my friend who contacted her friend who was working in China to contact her friend who was actually in China to send money to her friend that could send money to me. <laughs> and eventually I got the money and paid the guy. But I was thinking to myself, if this didn't actually happen, I would probably still be in China cleaning this guy's like tattoo machine. I would never make it out alive, but yeah. <laughs> Pinterest and Instagram um, as my main source for inspiration. Um, I have my own tattoo pin board on Pinterest. I save up a lot of like images that I like, um, like references on Instagram as well. Uh, so like I said, I travel and I get tattoos. So whenever I'm in a country, I kind of look for things that made me feel like it was a good trip. So like for example, the elephant was my second tattoo I ever got. Um, that one represents Thailand because it's a national animal of Thailand. But as for the Iban mask, I went to a museum and I saw it and I thought that it was really, really nice. So I'm going to go and find out what it meant. And I thought it would be a great representation of that country itself. So that's why I got that. I love Japanese culture and I love uh, Japan. And when I first went to Kyoto and I watched uh, 
a geisha performance live and I kind of fell in love with how graceful they were and how uh, they were just really beautiful. So I, I wanted to get a tattoo of a geisha on my leg. Yeah. Uh, yes, it has. Because I work in customer service and in the customer service industry, tattoos, I guess, are kind of seen as something that's more like intimidating and people tend to be more, I guess, wary or I wouldn't say afraid, but people with tattoos seem less approachable, I guess, in a sense. It's not affected yet, I guess, but it's never been something that crossed my mind because I always wanted to do something that tattoos wouldn't affect, which is why I chose to, you know, try and put something that's ever affected me personally when it comes to work. They will now. <laughs> yeah, I think I think they do. Um, yeah, they do. Never, I would say. Uh, but in fact, definitely my personally, I will have concern. Um, during my first few years at work, I was working in this events company, and I have a lot of like government governmental clients as well. So I did have this concern in my mind that I should be doing tattoo only on places that is coverable. So even my narwhal, well, I actually measured and uh, I made sure that it's coverable by my uh, like short sleeves. I guess some people kind of find it annoying sometimes when you always ask them like, oh, what does this mean? What does that mean? Because some people just get it because they like the aesthetic. But in general, I feel like, you know, people with tattoos are the same as anyone else, you know? Yeah. You know, I, I guess it's a huge stigma and everybody kind of thinks that people with tattoos are you know, hooligans or stuff like that. But I think it's a different day and age. So just don't assume that people with tattoos are bad people because times are changing. Don't say things like, it doesn't look good on you, it doesn't fit your style, it doesn't fit your look. Uh, because everyone has their own freedom uh, for their own expression. Uh, tattoo is a form of like body art expression as well. So if they chose it to get it ink on their skin permanently, uh, it's either there's a meaning to it, it means something to it, or it connects with them. Uh, if anybody ever tells you that a tattoo doesn't hurt, they're lying. <laughs> it hurts. It's just a matter of where you get it and how, how high your pain threshold is, that's about it. <laughs> like, definitely bring a friend because they can also help you with placement. If you're not sure what to do, they can always like help you out uh, with making the decision because it is like a permanent, it is a permanent thing on your body. Even if it's your second or third, don't rush into getting it. Um, especially the first one, your virgin experience in, in getting tattoo. Take your time to finding inspiration, uh, thinking through and decide on the first tattoo design that you really want, that really connects with you. And take that time to really digest and be sure that you really want this permanently ink on your skin.